Hello, it's Caroline at For the Love of Crochet, and you have clicked because you are ready for the next bunny pattern. And this one is a super treat. It is a free pattern by the designer Arali Gray, Arali um, underscore Gray. She's a very popular designer. She has all the resources. She has an Etsy shop. She also has a Ravelry shop. She has a course that you can take. She's um, a very good designer. And this pattern was free off of Ravelry. And the reason why I started this pattern is due to a YouTuber. And if you don't know her, go and check out her video after this because she made the same pattern in like five different ways or five different yarns or she tried a little bit something different with each one and she is my inspiration and she has been my inspiration for a lot of things I've been hooking up this week. So go check her out. She's She will give you lots of ideas. Okay, so for the pattern, it is called Cory and I'll show you a picture of it, of what it's supposed to look like. Cory, what it's supposed to look like, I totally manipulated it. <laughs> um, Cory the Giant Bunny. Now this pattern incorporates um, sewing if you want to. And so I'm going to start with the first one I did. Again, I am finishing my yarn and I had Bernat Forever Fleece Finer. So this is the Forever Finer. It's a very soft, very soft and has like that little fuzz feel to it just a little bit I know the Sun is very bright today but here is my bunny now in her pattern she says to keep like put the eyes way over here and way over here and it looks like the head is squished down like that so if you do it like she does you're gonna want to try to find a way to squish your head because that makes the eyes, you know, come forward a little bit. With this, the one, this one and the next one, Strawberry Bonnie Crochet had done this pattern so many times that she, you know, you make in the free pattern, it's you make all the different pieces. You make the arms, the head, the ears, and then put them all together. With Strawberry Bonnie Crochet, she started with making the arms and then she started with the legs, connected the legs and worked your way up. Now with the pattern for the head, what you would do is, since it's narrowing down, it'll say decrease. But instead of doing a decrease, you would do an increase because you want to go bigger. And then at the, at the, at that when you're working your way backwards instead of doing the increases you do the decreases because now you're closing so it's it's very easy to do if you want to keep this at a minimum no so um the ears of course you're sewing on the arms you can crochet in before you do your head i would crochet them in right before you do the head the round before the head and yeah, so I, I'm not happy with my nose here, but that is what I did. Now for this, now you do not have to do this, right? But I wanted to try and do that because I didn't like that mine didn't have that squished head look and I felt like it it needed something around its neck. Now in the pattern, they have a big sewn bow. So here is mine. And basically what you do is you just sew a little pillowcase, right? You could do this hand sewn. You just sew a pillowcase with two pieces of fabric and then you pinch, you pinch the knit, the middle and you know, you make yourself a bow. I did use my machine to sew it and turned it inside out. Now, if you can see my center, I did not have a ribbon. I wanted to use a ribbon. And then I thought about using crochet yarn, but I just decided not to because 
it didn't seem that significant. Well, I was going to put the bow on him, but I think it's a little too big and I didn't feel like making another one. I suppose it's good if it's a little lower. Okay, so what I used for my material, you do not have to go out and buy fabric. If you have a shirt that your husband, your boyfriend, your cousin, uh, or you're at the thrift store, I just used an old men's t-shirt. I mean, dress shirt. So it's very cute. It was a gingham. And so I decided to go with that. Okay, now this, I didn't have a ribbon either. But this is basically, I just ripped out or cut out the lining of the t-shirt. And I'll show you on my husband's, this part. It's got double thread on both sides. So I just cut it off and then this became my ribbon. You know, it, they even have it around the sleeve, right? Wherever the two parts are connected. This little portion, I just cut out of my shirt, the dress shirt. It's sewn on both sides and I just use that. I cut it and just tied it around. And I can still add this bow, I can hot glue it on if I wanted to. So that is the first bunny. And this would be a great idea, especially if you have a shirt of a family member that you wanna remember and you make a stuffed animal using some of the fabric, that's an option you know, if you want to do something like that. So since the head, I so I crocheted this as one piece, the head looked like it was lifted off and you know, you don't get the wobble head that way. And with her way, you know how you assemble all the, the designer, you sew all the pieces together. I did not try it, but I think I wanna make it again eventually and try it the way the designer had it with not making it a no sew or a limited no a low sew <laughs> um, because I like the effect that the head is when it's squished down it's cute <laughs> Okay, so anyways, I did the same thing with this one, but again, I had that long, here's the second one. I had this long, um, a little bit of a long neck. I could have eliminated one of the rows because when you end with the, with the body and then you start with the head, I probably did an extra row with both of them. Anyway, so again, I did not get this this flat head that I like in the picture. And so I'm thinking I want to try and attach it by sewing it, or um, sewing it on instead of crocheting as one piece. But since it did that, in fact, let me just take this off so you can see his neck. It's okay, but notice that, well, if you look at the pattern, I really like the fact when it's, you know, squished. It's cuter that way. So I thought, well, I'll just make a little granny scarf and help it out. <laughs> now, I decided to incorporate some colors so here we have a little bit of coloring and then on his ear I did it as well. And with this one I did the same thing. I used an old men's dress shirt and I did sew them on. Uh, now, is this going to be a very short project by incorporating all this sewing? No, but it is original and no one else is going to have this fabric. No one else is going to have this fabric. No one else is going to be using the exact same thing. And it personalizes it. I think he came out, or she came out rather cute. Um, again, I was I was trying not to position the, uh, the eye so far away, but I really liked 
what the designer did. And so my, I think hers are like 12 stitches apart. Or 14, 14 stitches apart. I use 12 because I'm like, you're not going to be able to see his eyes if it's that far. So, um, there you go. This is the second bunny. Would you try to make one of these? Do you like this bunny? Now with this one, I crocheted the tail into a little ball. And with this one, I did the pom-pom. And this one is a little too big for this, this bunny, probably. This is where I had tied and then I just, I didn't stuff stuff it afterwards um so there we go this this tail is a little too big for him so i'll have to go with a smaller one next time or trim that one down and then this one i decided to not do a pom-pom i decided to do the crochet okay so yes i got this idea for a scarf because in pika pow's amigurumi third book the third pika pow book animal friends of pika pow they had a goose or a pigeon or something that had a scarf uh, had a granny a granny half half triangle granny scarf and so that stuck with me because it was such a cute addition to the pattern that I decided to do the same thing with this one and I incorporated those colors and thankfully I found this in my my yarn stash down there so here we go here are the two bunnies now this would be equally cute without the sewn ears and if you want to see this one worked up in um, some other types of yarn check out strawberry bonnie crochet she and i will link her channel down below and if you want to see the rest of my bunny patterns that i've been making i will link that in the in this video so you can go and check it out here i am trying to make all the bunnies i can and give you a good view of all the bunnies that are out there especially the ones that are in my possession so i'm i'm crocheting all the bunnies in, and i think it works out because it's the year of the bunny so i shall talk to you soon and um go check out those bye